Hi, I'm Tom Lang. My brother and I, Bill, at watertogas.com have developed a modern electrolyzer to turn water into gas. This improves your mileage, your performance, and cleans up the pollution that your car puts out. I'm Bill Lang and this is my system to bring a small amount of water vapor into the intake manifold. And that water vapor is, uh, has a very high concentration of, uh, of hydrogen or oxygen, HHO or Brown's gas, and that's what causes the miles per gallon increase. We just drove this car 3,000 miles from Buffalo to uh, South Pasadena, California, and that's where we got the 10 mile per gallon average from. Well, there is a separate charging system, a little electrolysis device, and this is the electrolyzer. First, I'll plug in the electrolyzer, and as you can see now, there's a column of, uh, of hydrogen oxygen gas. The hydrogen and oxygen are then pulled to the negative and the positive terminals. The hydrogen goes to negative and the oxygen goes to the positive terminal. So now we've got this small area between the water and the top of the jar filling up with Brown's gas or HHO. And when I put this into some clean water here, it begins to bubble the mixed hydrogen oxygen gas into the water. Once this water is charged, it's, it's put into this delivery system, which is installed in the car's engine compartment. And you just hook this line up to this jar. The jar will be under vacuum pressure and it will cause this little tube here to bubble. But as soon as you hook up a device like this to, a, to an automobile engine, it stops emitting harmful pollutants. It kills them, they're consumed in the combustion process. Yeah, there's an interesting quote by, uh, by the famous anthropologist uh, Margaret, Margaret Mead, where she says, uh, never doubt that a, a small group of uh, smart, dedicated people can change the world, she says. In fact, that's the only thing that ever has. And the way, the way the hydrogen and oxygen is separated is it reverses the polarity of the H's and the O's, you know? Okay, so they're all connected and they're all spitting this way, right? So you put a small amount of electrical current and some of them start to spin in the opposite direction, release the neutron bond, and, and they maintain this opposite charge. Maybe five years from now cars will be running on Brown's gas 100%. And that will be the end of uh, the gas station model as we know it. <laughs> that will be a sad day, no more, no more gasoline. Because, you know, one of the joys of capitalism, as we all know, the new technology totally obliterates the old technology. Bang, it's gone in 60 seconds. And it couldn't happen to a nicer group. <laughs>